Anxiety, Wikipedia article audio. Anxiety is an emotion characterized by an unpleasant state of inner turmoil, often accompanied by nervous behavior, such as pacing back and forth, somatic complaints, and rumination. It is the subjectively unpleasant feelings of dread over anticipated events, such as the feeling of imminent death. Anxiety is not the same as fear, which is a response to a real or perceived immediate threat, whereas anxiety is the expectation of future threat. Anxiety is a feeling of uneasiness and worry, usually generalized and unfocused as an overreaction to a situation that is only subjectively seen as menacing. It is often accompanied by muscular tension, restlessness, fatigue, and problems in concentration. Anxiety can be appropriate, but when experienced regularly the individual may suffer from an anxiety disorder. People facing anxiety may withdraw from situations which have provoked anxiety in the past. There are various types of anxiety. Existential anxiety can occur when a person faces angst, an existential crisis, or nihilistic feelings. People can also face mathematical anxiety, somatic anxiety, stage fright, or test anxiety. Social anxiety and stranger anxiety are caused when people are apprehensive around strangers or other people in general. Furthermore, anxiety has been linked with physical symptoms such as IBS and can heighten other mental health illnesses such as OCD and panic disorder. The first step in the management of a person with anxiety symptoms is to evaluate the possible presence of an underlying medical cause whose recognition is essential in order to decide its correct treatment. Anxiety symptoms may be masking an organic disease, or appear associated or as a result of a medical disorder. Descriptions Types Anxiety can be either a short-term state or a long-term trait. Whereas trait anxiety represents worrying about future events, Anxiety disorders are a group of mental disorders characterized by feelings of anxiety and fear. Anxiety disorders are partly genetic but may also be due to drug use, including alcohol, caffeine, and benzodiazepines, as well as withdrawal from drugs of abuse. They often occur with other mental disorders, particularly bipolar disorder, eating disorders, major depressive disorder, or certain personality disorders. Common treatment options include lifestyle changes, medication, and therapy. Anxiety is distinguished from fear, which is an appropriate cognitive and emotional response to a perceived threat. Anxiety is related to the specific behaviors of fight-or-flight responses, defensive behavior, or escape. It occurs in situations only perceived as uncontrollable or unavoidable, but not realistically so. David Barlow defines anxiety as a future-oriented mood state in which one is not ready or prepared to attempt to cope with upcoming negative events, and that it is a distinction between future and present dangers which divides anxiety and fear. Another description of anxiety is agony, dread, terror, or even apprehension. In positive psychology, anxiety is described as the mental state that results from a difficult challenge for which the subject has insufficient coping skills. Fear and anxiety can be differentiated in four domains, duration of emotional experience, temporal focus, specificity of the threat and motivated direction. Fear is defined as short-lived, present-focused, geared towards a specific threat, and facilitating escape from threat. Anxiety, on the other hand, is defined as long-acting, future-focused, broadly focused towards a diffuse threat, and promoting excessive caution while approaching a potential threat and interferes with constructive coping. 
Anxiety can be experienced with long, drawn-out daily symptoms that reduce quality of life, known as chronic anxiety, or it can be experienced in short spurts with sporadic, stressful panic attacks, known as acute anxiety. Symptoms of anxiety can range in number, intensity, and frequency, depending on the person. While almost everyone has experienced anxiety at some point in their lives, most do not develop long-term problems with anxiety. Anxiety may cause psychiatric and physiological symptoms. Existential The behavioral effects of anxiety may include withdrawal from situations which have provoked anxiety or negative feelings in the past. Other effects may include changes in sleeping patterns, changes in habits, increase or decrease in food intake, and increased motor tension. The emotional effects of anxiety may include feelings of apprehension or dread, trouble concentrating, feeling tense or jumpy, anticipating the worst, irritability, restlessness, watching for signs of danger, and feeling like your mind's gone blank as well as nightmares slash bad dreams, obsessions about sensations, to copyright JAVU, a trapped in your mind feeling, and feeling like everything is scary. Test and Performance The cognitive effects of anxiety may include thoughts about suspected dangers, such as fear of dying. You may Fear that the chest pains are a deadly heart attack or that the shooting pains in your head are the result of a tumor or an aneurysm. You feel an intense fear when you think of dying, or you may think of it more often than normal, or can't get it out of your mind. The physiological symptoms of anxiety may include The philosopher S. A. Ren Kierkegaard in the concept of anxiety, described anxiety or dread associated with the dizziness of freedom and suggested the possibility for positive resolution of anxiety through the self-conscious exercise of responsibility and choosing. In Art and Artist, the psychologist Otto Rank wrote that the psychological trauma of birth was the preeminent human symbol of existential anxiety and encompasses the creative person's simultaneous fear of a euro and desire for a euro separation, individuation, and differentiation. Stranger, Social, and Intergroup the theologian Paul Tillich characterized existential anxiety as the state in which a being is aware of its possible non-being and he listed three categories for the non-being and resulting anxiety, ontic, moral, and spiritual. According to Tillich, the last of these three types of existential anxiety, i.e. spiritual anxiety, is predominant in modern times while the others were predominant in earlier periods. Tillich argues that this anxiety can be accepted as part of the human condition or it can be resisted but with negative consequences. In its pathological form, spiritual anxiety may tend to drive the person toward the creation of certitude in systems of meaning which are supported by tradition and authority even though such undoubted certitude is not built on the rock of reality. Trait According to Viktor Frankl, the author of Man's Search for Meaning, when a person is faced with extreme mortal dangers, the most basic of all human wishes is to find a meaning of life to combat the trauma of non-being as death is near. Choice or Decision According to Yerkes Dodson Law, an optimal level of arousal is necessary to best complete a task such as an exam, performance, or competitive event. However, when the anxiety or level of arousal exceeds that optimum, the result is a decline in performance. Test anxiety is the uneasiness, apprehension, or nervousness felt by students who have a fear of failing an exam. Students who have test anxiety may experience any of the following, the association of grades with personal worth, 
fear of embarrassment by a teacher, fear of alienation from parents or friends, time pressures, or feeling a loss of control. Sweating, dizziness, headaches, racing heartbeats, nausea, fidgeting, uncontrollable crying or laughing and drumming on a desk are all common. Because test anxiety hinges on fear of negative evaluation, debate exists as to whether test anxiety is itself a unique anxiety disorder or whether it is a specific type of social phobia. The DSM-4 classifies test anxiety as a type of social phobia. Anxiety Disorders While the term test anxiety refers specifically to students, many workers share the same experience with regard to their career or profession. The fear of failing at a task and being negatively evaluated for failure can have a similarly negative effect on the adult. Management of test anxiety focuses on achieving relaxation and developing mechanisms to manage anxiety. Humans generally require social acceptance and thus sometimes dread the disapproval of others. Apprehension of being judged by others may cause anxiety in social environments. Anxiety during social interactions, particularly between strangers, is common among young people. It may persist into adulthood and become social anxiety or social phobia. Stranger anxiety in small children is not considered a phobia. In adults, an excessive fear of other people is not a developmentally common stage, it is called social anxiety. According to Cutting, social phobics do not fear the crowd but the fact that they may be judged negatively. Social anxiety varies in degree and severity. For some people, it is characterized by experiencing discomfort or awkwardness during physical social contact, while in other cases it can lead to a fear of interacting with unfamiliar people altogether. Those suffering from this condition may restrict their lifestyles to accommodate the anxiety, minimizing social interaction whenever possible. Social anxiety also forms a core aspect of certain personality disorders including avoidant personality disorder. To the extent that a person is fearful of social encounters with unfamiliar others, some people may experience anxiety particularly during interactions without group members, or people who share different group memberships. Depending on the nature of the antecedent relations, cognitions, and situational factors, Intergroup contact may be stressful and lead to feelings of anxiety. This apprehension or fear of contact without group members is often called interracial or intergroup anxiety. Risk factors As is the case the more generalized forms of social anxiety, intergroup anxiety has behavioral, cognitive, and affective effects. For instance, Increases in schematic processing and simplified information processing can occur when anxiety is high. Indeed, such is consistent with related work on attentional bias in implicit memory. Additionally recent research has found that implicit racial evaluations can be amplified during intergroup interaction. Negative experiences have been illustrated in producing not only negative expectations, but also avoidant, or antagonistic, behavior such as hostility. Furthermore, when compared to anxiety levels and cognitive effort in intragroup contexts, levels and depletion of resources may be exacerbated in the intergroup situation. Neuroanatomy Anxiety can be either a short-term state or a long-term trait. Trait anxiety reflects a stable tendency to respond with state anxiety in the anticipation of threatening situations. A meta-analysis showed that a high level of neuroticism is a risk factor for development of anxiety symptoms and disorders. Such anxiety may be conscious or unconscious. 
neurological, as headache, paresthesias, vertigo, or presyncope, digestive, as abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, indigestion, dry mouth, or bolus, respiratory, as shortness of breath or sighing breathing, cardiac, as palpitations, tachycardia, or chest pain, muscular, as fatigue, tremors, or tetany, cutaneous, as perspiration, or itchy skin, urogenital, as frequent urination, urinary urgency, dyspareunia, or impotence. Anxiety induced by the need to choose between similar options is increasingly being recognized as a problem for individuals and for organizations. In 2004, Capgemini wrote, Today we're all faced with greater choice, more competition, and less time to consider our options or seek out the right advice. In a decision context, unpredictability or uncertainty may trigger emotional responses in anxious individuals that systematically alter decision making. There are primarily two forms of this anxiety type. The first form refers to a choice in which there are multiple potential outcomes with known or calculable probabilities. The second form refers to the uncertainty and ambiguity related to a decision context in which there are multiple possible outcomes with unknown probabilities. Anxiety disorders are a group of mental disorders characterized by feelings of anxiety and fear. Anxiety is a worry about future events and fear is a reaction to current events. These feelings may cause physical symptoms such as a fast heart rate and shakiness. There are a number of anxiety disorders, including generalized anxiety disorder, specific phobia, social anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, agoraphobia, panic disorder, and selective mutism. The disorder differs by what results in the symptoms. People often have more than one anxiety disorder. Genetics Medical conditions Substance-induced Psychological The cause of anxiety disorders is a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Risk factors include a history of child abuse, family history of mental disorders, and poverty. Anxiety disorders often occur with other mental disorders, particularly major depressive disorder, personality disorder, and substance use disorder. To be diagnosed symptoms typically need to be present at least six months, be more than would be expected for the situation, and decrease functioning. Other problems that may result in similar symptoms including hyperthyroidism, heart disease, caffeine, alcohol, or cannabis use, and withdrawal from certain drugs, among others. Without treatment, anxiety disorders tend to remain. Treatment may include lifestyle changes, counseling, and medications. Counseling is typically with a type of cognitive behavioral therapy. Medications, such as antidepressants or beta blockers, may improve symptoms. About 12% of people are affected by an anxiety disorder in a given year and between 5 to 30% are affected at some point in their life. They occur about twice as often in females as males, and generally begin before the age of 25. The most common are specific phobia which affects nearly 12% and social anxiety disorder which affects 10% at some point in their life. They affect those between the ages of 15 and 35 the most and become less common after the age of 55. Rates appear to be higher in the United States and Europe. Neural circuitry involving the amygdala and hippocampus is thought to underlie anxiety. People who have anxiety tend to show high activity in response to emotional stimuli in the amygdala. 
Some writers believe that excessive anxiety can lead to an overpotentiation of the limbic system, giving increased future anxiety, but this does not appear to have been proven. Research upon adolescents who as infants had been highly apprehensive, vigilant, and fearful finds that their nucleus accumbens is more sensitive than that in other people when deciding to make an action that determined whether they received a reward. This suggests a link between circuits responsible for fear and also reward in anxious people. As researchers note, a sense of responsibility, or self-agency, in a context of uncertainty drives the neural system underlying appetitive motivation more strongly in temperamentally inhibited than non-inhibited adolescents. Genetics and family history may predispose an individual for an increased risk of an anxiety disorder, but generally external stimuli will trigger its onset or exacerbation. Genetic differences account for about 43% of variants in panic disorder and 28% in generalized anxiety disorder. Although single genes are neither necessary nor sufficient for anxiety by themselves, several gene polymorphisms have been found to correlate with anxiety, PLXNA2, CERT, CRH, COMT, and BDNF. Several of these genes influence neurotransmitters and hormones which are implicated in anxiety. The epigenetic signature of at least one of these genes BDNF has also been associated with anxiety and specific patterns of neural activity. Many medical conditions can cause anxiety. This includes conditions that affect the ability to breathe, like COPD and asthma and the difficulty in breathing that often occurs near death. Conditions that cause abdominal pain or chest pain can cause anxiety and may in some cases be a somatization of anxiety, the same is true for some sexual dysfunctions. Conditions that affect the face or the skin can cause social anxiety especially among adolescents, and developmental disabilities often lead to social anxiety for children as well. Life-threatening conditions like cancer also cause anxiety. Evolutionary Psychology Furthermore, certain organic diseases may present with anxiety or symptoms that mimic anxiety. These disorders include certain endocrine diseases, metabolic disorders, deficiency states, gastrointestinal diseases, heart diseases, blood diseases, cerebral vascular accidents, and brain degenerative diseases, among others. Several drugs can cause or worsen anxiety, whether in intoxication, withdrawal, or from chronic use. These include alcohol, tobacco, cannabis, sedatives, opioids, stimulants, hallucinogens, and inhalants. While many often report self-medicating anxiety with these substances, improvements in anxiety from drugs are usually short-lived and tend to be exaggerated. Acute exposure to toxic levels of benzene may cause euphoria, anxiety, and irritability lasting up to two weeks after the exposure. Poor coping skills are associated with anxiety. Anxiety is also linked and perpetuated by the person's own pessimistic outcome expectancy and how they cope with feedback negativity. Temperament and attitudes have been found to be risk factors for anxiety. Social Gender socialization Cognitive distortions such as overgeneralizing, catastrophizing, mind reading, emotional reasoning, binocular trick, and mental filter can result in anxiety. For example, an overgeneralized belief that something bad always happens may lead someone to have excessive fears of even minimally risky situations and to avoid benign social situations due to anticipatory anxiety of embarrassment. In addition, those who have high anxiety can also create future stressful life events. Together, 
These findings suggest that anxious thoughts can lead to anticipatory anxiety as well stressful events, which in turn cause more anxiety. Such unhealthy thoughts can be targets for successful treatment with cognitive therapy. Psychodynamic theory posits that anxiety is often the result of opposing unconscious wishes or fears that manifest via maladaptive defense mechanisms that develop to adapt to problems with early objects and empathic failures in childhood. For example, persistent parental discouragement of anger may result in repression slash suppression of angry feelings which manifests as gastrointestinal distress when provoked by another while the anger remains unconscious and outside the individual's awareness such conflicts can be targets for successful treatment with psychodynamic therapy while psychodynamic therapy tends to explore the underlying roots of anxiety Cognitive behavioral therapy has also been shown to be a successful treatment for anxiety by altering irrational thoughts and unwanted behaviors. An evolutionary psychology explanation is that increased anxiety serves the purpose of increased vigilance regarding potential threats in the environment as well as increased tendency to take proactive actions regarding such possible threats. This may cause false positive reactions but an individual suffering from anxiety may also avoid real threats. This may explain why anxious people are less likely to die due to accidents. When people are confronted with unpleasant and potentially harmful stimuli such as foul odors or tastes, PET scans show increased blood flow in the amygdala. In these studies, the participants also reported moderate anxiety. This might indicate that anxiety is a protective mechanism designed to prevent the organism from engaging in potentially harmful behaviors. Social risk factors for anxiety include a history of trauma, early life experiences and parenting factors, cultural factors, and socioeconomics. Contextual factors that are thought to contribute to anxiety include gender socialization and learning experiences. In particular, learning mastery and instrumentality, which includes such traits as self-confidence, independence, and competitiveness fully mediate the relation between gender and anxiety. That is, though gender differences in anxiety exist, with higher levels of anxiety in women compared to men, gender socialization and learning mastery explain these gender differences. Research has demonstrated the ways in which facial prominence in photographic images differs between men and women. More specifically, in official online photographs of politicians around the world, women's faces are less prominent than men's. Interestingly enough, the difference in these images actually tended to be greater in cultures with greater institutional gender equality.